Okay. Hello, Sketchbook Heroes. We've got a cat tonight. A cat, and then we've got a dragon, and then we've got maybe a hummingbird, a bird. We got faces. Draw a silly face. There's the hummingbird. Uh, some, I don't know, we're out of order. I don't know what we're going to do, do next. It's all going to be a surprise on this journey of what we draw. It depends on uh, what uh, is requested. That's a neat one. There we go. These are all drawings. Hey, some drawings. Texture. Great. Uh, we can talk about those. Somebody mentioned earlier, right before class, uh, they mentioned Zentangles. Zentangles are a great way to uh, just practice your drawing. And uh, there we go. Back to the beginning. Here we go. We're going to start off with this cat. Let's put it in the chat. There we go. Paste it. There we go. All right. So uh, if we may, I, let me see. Let me make, put it, yeah, I miss the old. I don't know why they updated it. They try to make things better. But we do definitely see a circle here. We definitely see a circle. So let's see what that circle looks like here. I'm going to break this apart, break this into uh, more doable. Uh, there we go. Here's a circle. And how does it relate to a circle? It, it's really close to a circle. Same height, same width. So let's bring that over. You can see ooh, how it's stretched out on the sides. This side's probably a little bit higher than the side. Notice it. Because you, you know a circle. A circle is the same anywhere, everywhere. In different sizes, we can make the circle smaller or bigger. Oh, I just lost it. I uh, lost the ratio. See, I changed the ratios. There. This is the ratio. When we change the ratio, if we do stretch out the ratio, uh, change the ratio, because it's not one-to-one -one anymore. Uh, it's a little closer to what's there. You can see that. So it's a, it is a little bit wider than it is taller, and that's the ratio. That's what we look for when we're drawing uh, the ratios. But uh, we also look for the shape. Here you can see the circle and see how, it's, how it goes out. Let's make it a little smaller. And that helps you shoot for accuracy. All right. And then if we break this into parts, uh, you can see that everything's in the really top half. Uh, here we have the half. And here we have about a quarter. You can see that this is a quarter of the circle. Oops. What? You're not drawing. It's getting finicky, finicky. There we go, finicky. That's probably, yeah. So you can see it's in the top quarter, the faces and the eyes and stuff. And if we were to do actually even break this, uh, there we go, in the half, that circle in half, everything's kind of like on this side of that half, right? That's that it's it's right heavy. And then we got the triangles, our triangles. Here we go, little triangles, simple shapes. You can see the top here. Scooting over. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, the eyes are crossed and uh, really giving a, a great expression, a great expression. And notice this. I'll look at that angle there. And then this is just pulled out and this is just pulled out. But it definitely this has the angle. This is where the, 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 he, the artist knows anatomy, knows the anatomy of uh, the cat. And that's the, the hind leg. Look at this. These front legs are just tri triangles. Yeah, I don't think this cat was finicky. All right, so let's jump into this, I think, uh, and notice this angle here, I guess. Let's see what else we should notice. Yeah, shapes have angles. There's these uh, eyebrows that are kind of like bean shapes, but they also have these angles. If you notice those, notice the angle and the movement, that will help you also with your accuracy. Um, we'll also notice, I guess, some of the finer detail, usually later. Notice the angle. One eye is a little bit lower. One eye is a little bit higher. Right, so if we if we try to put stuff together and see that together as another shape, that kind of helps. Notice, uh, yeah, notice the the nose and how it comes off, and if we put the eyes together. All right, so th those are things to look for and to help you uh, kind of see it in an abstract way, and not just the symbolic way. And let's jump into it. it looks like a dumpling. <laughs> sure does. Somebody in the chat says it looks like a dumpling. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, we'll just go ahead and draw. I don't know. We we had, uh, yeah, we have, I had a suggestion of, of actually leaving the picture up. But the problem with that is um, I wanted to use this one just for faces. The problem with uh, that is that when I record, I don't, I don't get to show the drawing. We got to put it and I will. I need to. <laughs> I need to dig it up so I can. Um, there's a there's a program that'll let us do it, so we can have it side by side. Actually, probably even help me. 
make your drawings more accurate by having if I, I'd be able to look at my screen and see the drawing next to it. And that makes it easier instead of looking up at my screen and down. We're going to start off with our circle. Well, this pencil's got a really nice lid, so you can actually just sketch it, sketch it in, sc scribble it in, draw a lot of lines, find the one you like. You can start seeing, see all these mistakes. It's okay. Just get it on there. Get our circle on there. You can see, and you can actually build it up. It's kind of like we're using clay. Actually, you see, now we got our lump of clay. Now we can add to it. So we got our circle. And we can pull out the sides a little bit, see, and just add a little bit to the side, pull it, pull it out. And we have that angle that was on here, this side, that angle of that leg right there. Let's see if we put our fourths in there. Use the fourths. Put our fourths, cut, break this into fourths. You can see that. And I just saw this cat like for a split second the other day, yesterday. And it's all the same, always the same, always the same. I've been drawing for a long time and you can see every time I break things down, look for the big shapes. Once you kind of get the how, you know, then you can start breaking stuff down. Sometimes some you'll see some drawings will be harder to break down than others. That's why I post what you're having trouble with. It's good to struggle. It's good to kind of like have a hard time, even though we don't like it. But when you get it, oh my gosh, you get it. And you're like, oh my God, I got it. I got it. And you got want to keep that excitement. You want to keep that excitement. So keep uh, looking at shapes. You can pull this out a little bit. This, this is definitely the left side where that leg is, uh, comes up and then, and then up and over. A silly cat. All right, well, we've got the center here, my center of my circle. We know the face is going to be uh, up here in this half. Uh, I angle the eyes, really the eyes. There's my eyes, where my eyes are going to go. Right in there at, at that angle. And then right on this side, because he is facing this side, because it is round. I mean, the artist knows form. This artist knows form, even though it's really flat. The artist who uses form puts things on the right side as it as it's turning in space. Then uh, we have this angle here for the um, for the for the snout, <laughs> the, the nose and the mouth. All right, and then we have the eyebrows above it. One kind of like at that angle, and then one at uh, a little straighter that angle. And so let's put them in. Let's put these eyes in. All right, now we'll start off with all this detail in here. This is the most important part right here. So we got to nail this. See these two angles here are really important uh, to get those eyes in there. We're going to see my center line right here. That's where my first eye is going to kind of be right in there. Get a circle, nice circle right in there, right in there in that space. All right, see that? Uh, I just got my little circle in there, my eye. My eye, if I can zoom in a little bit. Uh, here we go. Zoom in on that eye. Uh, and I don't know who drew this. It's a really nice drawing. Then we'll get the second eye. Uh, watch the spacing between. Watch the space between. Um, between the two eyes, it's really interesting. There's a, I would say about a half space, half an eye space. So you get in half an eye and then put that there and then get that other circle. It's a little bit higher. So it's a little bit higher and it's about the same size. Right in there, sketching it in, trying to, trying to sketch it in. Maybe I'm drawing a little small, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I try to hear artists all the time here. <laughs> Draw. Uh, yeah, draw consistently. There we go. Now, the, the pupils are really interesting. The pupil here, he's almost cross-eyed a little bit, All right. So this, this pupil is a little bit bigger right in here, right in there. And there's no highlight, so I'm going to close my highlight. I'm used to doing that. I can see how big the pupil is compared to uh, where it's at, like it should be right about there. And there is a little bit of an eye lash, an eye lash on that, uh, on the top right here, the eyelash, or uh, it's just dark. Yeah, it's, it's dark, a little dark spot right in there, a the, the, the lot thicker line on the top right. There it is, I've got one eye out. And this one is definitely um, pushing a little bit closer to the right. Uh, a little closer to the right, almost cross-eyed right here, a little closer to the right, closer to the edge. So it's not exactly in the same spot. 
And then now this, uh, this uh, eyelash is uh, more to the left. So we'll move this one to the left. I'm looking at it right about there. And that's, uh, you know, the windows to the soul right here. This is uh, where we got that character. And seeing those angles, see the angles, how those angles help so much. Now there's a little bit of a heart-shaped nose. Get that heart-shaped nose right in there. So it looks, I can see, I have this guide here. I can see the angle was right. The angles, once you see an angle and record an angle, it, it, it's going to be the same. You can just move it in different places. The, the, the position, the placement is not great. I need to move it over, but the angle is good. The angle is good. So here we go. We're going to draw that, that heart. Uh, and the heart shape is a little bit uh, right in here, right in there. And the left side's a little bit bigger. The left side's a little bit bigger, but it's got a heart shaped nose heart-shaped nose and again it's kind of like at an angle there's that heart-shaped nose and then it's got the mouth and it's really like two tail lines two lines kind of curves here's one line a little bit shorter and then the second line uh flipping open and then and then it curves inward like that there we go oh so there's our cat face a cat face and it's got uh bags it's got bags where do you want these bags you got little bags kind of um and and it's light shading it's really light shading really light shading so it's uh not not heavy duty shading it's just a slight little shade you know want to get your pencil maybe even at an angle like this this pencil like is really good i can i can break it down a little bit on another sheet of paper and um and smoothen it out See once it's uh, worked down the edge. See there, there it is, and see that that kind of uh, works the edge down, and it makes my shading a little smoother, and it's just a really light little bit of uh, a little bit of a light shade in here, around the eyes. A little bit of a light shade around the eyes. Now you can draw anything you see. It's not going to be accurate, but the more you practice, the better the better you're going to get. You just kind of not, you know, you got to learn to let it go, let it go or, or, you know, fight with it. I know like Pearl was fighting with that drawing. She's like, something's wrong with it. Something's wrong with it. And she, you know, you got to know how to pick your battles, but you got to pick them. You do have to, you know, get, you know, where you're at, where you're at. Sometimes just let it go. Okay. I'm gonna let it go. I can't get it. And just let it go. Let it go. Move forward. Keep moving forward. You know, can't win every battle. And just like the thing is to be in the battle. We can't win every battle, right? All right. So I got one eyebrow in there. Let's get that other eyebrow. Let's bring this down. Here we go. This was fun. I saw this drawing. I'm like, oh, I'm going to have fun with that one. And I, I, I am having fun. I am having fun with this one. And you can see where it's positioned. You can see, oh my gosh, it's coming together. Props to this artist. Props to this artist. There we go. And it's got a little bit of a, <laughs> let's pull that up right in here. You can get that little bit of a, of a twist. It's actually like a, a tapered tail, a tapered tail, those tapered tails, a little bit of a tapered tail, kind of looks like the Hershey's kiss, a little top on it, the hair top to the right. See here, here it is to the look, look at the location, the position of where that little tapered tail is at. Let me bring it down. <laughs> I look up, up at my screen. I'm like, hey, you don't see what I'm talking about. All right. Hard to believe I just drove over two hours. <laughs> and I'm in a good mood. Uh, you know what? It got me in a good mood seeing these drawings. I'm like, oh, those are fun. And I saw them yesterday. I was like, oh, I didn't get to uh, rearrange them. But they're, they were in a pretty good um, arrangement. Thank you, Ellen. Thanks so much. I really appreciate that. The teamwork makes this dream work. All right, let's get these ears in here. Let's get those ears, the triangular ears. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can take a quick look and see how it all looks together so far. It's coming together. It's coming together. Well, it looks like a, you know, using this shape. It was a circle. We pulled it out. Hey, <laughs> scared me. This coming down this way. Uh, we'll focus on the ears and then we'll, we'll bring it down and we'll finish this one. It's going pretty quick, uh, 20 minutes or less. All right, here we go. Actually, it was less than 20 minutes because we started late, a little late. And then I, then I talked. I talked. All right, so here we got um, the ears. This is actually this triangle here. 
there's two triangles the big triangle here this is the big triangle then we've got this other triangle um with, with these angles here right this this that part so this part of that is probably something like that and there's overlapping so it crosses over that line that line right here right this is how artists create space overlapping so this is now on and it passed that line we cross that line we cross that barrier and then we've got this side of the ear over here I'm trying to draw what we see as it's attached to that big sphere that big ball of clay we started off with there it is boom there it is nice and we can shade it in and uh, i'd rather shade it in erase are you erased by shading look at that <laughs> that line that was there is gone see because I, I drew lightly now we can go darker see i can go darker on this side oh and go darker on this side and uh there it is that that whole 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 space is gone it's gone i tell all you all right let's zoom out let's do the other ear and then we'll zoom out it's got whiskers and all kinds of stuff even my my uh sketch looks like shading it looks like fur actually it comes comes along look like fur all right we got to, uh, let's get the shape of the uh triangle first so we got the big shape here like the, about like that those two angles and then there's two triangles inside those triangles but that's kind of like the shape that goes there i'm seeing how it all fits thank you for joining us tonight <laughs> I don't know. We might, we might, this might be the last year we do this. So um, we'll see. We'll see where it goes as I get all the recordings that we have put together. And once you, uh, yeah, we'll see. We might have to, to uh, we'll see how we do this. Now, this well, year, huh? I'm sorry. Um, well, this being the last year would be fine because you said you're going on your travels. So that means the next classes will be every week from a different spot in the world. <laughs> yeah yeah we'll see different places different well we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens i i can't it's too too early to to tell what's going to happen um but uh definitely uh we might we'll continue we'll continue but it'll probably be more intermediate and then um the videos will be there for the beginners so we'll definitely get the beginners kind of get going and if they have questions they can join us maybe we'll do like one quick drawing like this and then get into uh more advanced stuff um especially uh yeah more advanced stuff but it's all good the advanced stuff the thing with the advanced stuff it takes it takes a long time i mean you can see some of these drawings we spend a lot long time just on one drawing that's that's not too fun i mean but i don't know we'll see we'll play it by ear and see how it goes see what i like what i don't like it's not like somebody telling us what to do we, we're, we're here all together trying to learn trying to now uh two triangles <laughs> i went off talking and just did it uh it, it tapers so this triangle goes smaller as it goes up and then down and then get that hair going see just tr try to get those long strokes uh, long strokes there we go let me zoom out now let's zoom out all right how many people we got out there we got quite a few i see a few familiar faces we got our zoom user there <laughs> And uh, let me see, participants, we've got 23. That includes me. All right. Yeah, we had like 50 something people sign up. It's interesting. No, not everybody always shows up. No shows. It's all good. All right, we have our center line from our circle. And then we've got the, the this first hand that's down here, uh, the one that's closest to us. It's like right in here, right in there. It's kind of taking up that space right there so it's uh this one's almost vertical so slightly to the right as it comes down slightly and then and then it comes out and it is a little rounder let me see maybe the angle is a little bit further out that way see this first angle that i put was off and that's okay so it, it helped me get my um my bearing and then i added that other angle and it actually curves it curves just kind of because it's uh this kind of like rounded shape a little bit of a curve on it there's that and then it's got like two little toes one two i still got paint on my fingers so it's all good <laughs> now everybody's looking at my fingers I, I do flatten out the bottom here so we got the first uh paw or first foot leg the other one's way down here 
Let's see. Should we go left to right? Yeah, let's go left to right. Let's zoom in. Since yeah, let's, let's take a quick look. We're gonna zoom in so you can see what we're talking about and doing. These these legs, these feet. So um it comes out. Here the tail. Let's get this tail. It's a, it's like this oval shape, and then it just comes to see this oval shape. I see that shape, and then it comes down to a point. It kind of comes down to a point. There we go. Bam. Look at that. Bam. bam. See, and I, that, that mass that's there. And it's a tapered tail. A tapered tail. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to copyright that. It's a tapered tail. It tapers and then it twists. There we go. And this other foot that's back here, it's kind of kind of coming down in here. It's hidden. But really, it's really, there's really just the, what is that? <laughs> I think it's just like a little, you're barely capturing a little, I would say a little oval kind of sticking out like that. But you've got this shape here and the shape here for that back leg. And this is all, this is all belly. And then the belly comes up right after that. Oops, let's move it over. So there's the tail. There's the 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 the, the, the two right legs on the right, my left, or the, the drawing's left. It's so weird talking about space. You have to kind of visualize it. So it's our, it's the it's the the right leg of the um, cat, but it's on our left. As we look on it, it's on the left side. So you need to kind of do those mental gymnastics. I'm thinking about space. All right, so there, there's that. Let's move over. Let's get the other other legs in. So the the body kind of continues up through here, continues up, and I'm I'm cutting in. I'm cutting into uh, the circle. Let me tell you why. Because this is the the belly. It's the kind of belly, the inside, and then still there's the outside. This outside part, and um, so just we're just really just let me. Pull this out a little bit. There we go. I'm trying to capture this form, this circle, the circular shape of this round cat. Uh, and then we've got the uh, this other foot that's coming out right here. This is the one we need to do because it's behind this space. It's behind the space. So it comes down right there like that. And then it comes back up. There we go. See them just like that. Just like that lickety split. Uh, put one little paw line. It comes up, and then uh, it actually comes out right here. So we have it that uh, that coming. This would go around the space, but then we have that back leg coming back in here, kind of making it solid. Just pulled out slightly. See that triangle? It's pulled out slightly, right in that space. Bam. I like seeing um, members that uh, they don't participate, but they're regulars. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you for coming regularly. That's what it takes, that consistency. You know, you can go to the gym once and it doesn't really help. You got to go to the gym and keep going to the gym and keep working out. You got to practice, practice, practice. It's the power, power of practice. And there you go. There's our cat. First drawing of the night. Uh, there is some texture on the body. Let's get it on there. Anybody, everybody. There's oh the whiskers. Yeah, let's get those whiskers on there. Those are fun. Just trying to one stroke whiskers. Try to there we go. One. Try to get it in one stroke. That's 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 a little skill in itself. You kind of see where you're at, see where you're aiming, and just kind of shoot out. And that's a good way to see. Ooh, that didn't curve as like I'd like. That's all, that's all right. I don't didn't curve too much either. But there we go. Just just. Whisking away, whisking away in Margaritaville here. There we go. Just add little little lines as it comes around. It already has our, our sketching lines. Probably can go a little bit darker here on these, some of these lines. Get, get a little more. Look, notice the thickness of the line. The thickness of the line. The darkness, especially right in here. Right, right in here, the line does get darker. That gives it some weight. Some weight. Some pencil weight. And you can see it's underneath. Almost adds like a shadow to to it. The edges are a little, a little curry. And there's our first cat. 
Uh, oh, we did miss. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm looking. There's, there's little dots in here. Little three dots. Oh, I'll just put them in real quick. And maybe two dots on the other side, on the on the right side. There it is. Let me zoom in on that so you can see, because I just added that. And that little detail, that little dots on the face, that's as close as I can get. All right. Let's see. Oh, I see something in the chat. I just added the Zentangles Pro asked. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Is that in? Oh, I'll take a look at those. What Zentango class was that? It looks difficult. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks difficult sometimes. Um, and it's just figuring out the how. And then once you get the how, there used to be a really cool magazine called the How How Magazine. It was an art magazine. All right. It is taught by, through Meetup by Sue Schneider. She walks us through step by step. So it's not as hard as it looks. Thank you. I love it when you guys share. Uh, and people are, you guys are immersed in it. That's what it is. You got to immerse yourselves and share. And that's what I was going to talk about. It's the whole uh, LSC. Uh, learn. So you learn stuff on your own and then you share it. And then you make connections, you connect. And that this is will make you learn it longer because you're sharing it and you're connecting. Even a cat, this cat, if you're to share this cat, draw this cat over again, you make more connections, right? Uh, draw this cat again. Speaking of cats again, let's uh, draw another cat. Uh, let me share my screen. That's, I think there was another cat. Or uh, let's see what we're going to draw. We've got a cat here. Uh, there's that cat. It's that cat. Oh, the dragon. There was another cat. I did see another cat there, that cat. Or maybe not today. Actually, oh, this is interesting. Well, let's do this one. This is simpler. We want to try to go simple to more complex. We don't want to lose anybody. This is really simple. Um, you should be able to, to get this on your own. I don't know if we're going to go that simple. Uh, but if there is a request in the kind chat. of like the Zentangle. It has some of the Zentangle elements. Yeah. You know, the uh, the googly eyes. Like that's... Uh -huh. um, that's definitely a Zentangle pattern. <laughs> I definitely see yeah, and just using them over and over. It's just patterns. Uh, Zentangles are just patterns. All right, so let's get this not today cat. Ah, something in the chat. Uh, oh yeah, it's free, but she accepts donations. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start accepting donations this year. Two two years uh, two years after, actually, I don't know. I think I'm going to start a, a, a. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Especially if you want to keep. Uh, the the beginner stuff going i really want to move on i really want to create my book and and uh, leave that legacy and leave that uh you know out there once it's out there then then we'll see where it goes all right let's see uh, also tangle addicts by with heather all right great great information thank you so much ellen this is what i'm talking about this is building community this is sharing what you're doing and then getting more people on board thanks i only have a free <laughs> free in my budget <laughs> yeah you're welcome yeah no there's they're, they're, they're gonna be donations it'll be donations it'll always be free i i believe in free i believe in you put the effort you, you come out negative budget oh yeah i know it's after christmas and the holidays it really really kind of uh let's jump to annotating and not talk about all right so we've got a square here there we go look at the square here there's our square you can see that square. This is this is the head is is uh let me see. Let me bring that down. Uh, well, I'll put a ball. So if we got our square here, see how this comes out. But uh really a square and a half, maybe. That's the ratio. If we were to get another square, oh, let's see if we can do that. Can I draw another square? Oh no, I have to so do it on my own. Bum, ba, da, bum. There, look at that ratio. Look at that ratio. Elijah, there was a question in the chat. What, how did you? Uh, how do you decide to use a square instead of a rectangle? If you want to take a look at the question. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. Um, yeah, it is a rectangle. I use the square because uh, a square is universal. A square and a circle is universal. Okay, I can say rectangle, but what's the ratio? I mean, that's a rectangle now, but uh, how do we compare it? See, so that's a great question. It's a great question. So if I if I if I move this out, let me see. Let's move this out. Uh, two squares. That's a, still a rectangle, but the ratio is different now. The ratio is uh, one by two. See, so it's one by two. So this is uh the, the height is one, and then it's two, and but that's not the right ratio. The ratio is uh, it's more like thirds. It's like thirds. See, and that's what you want to see. And it just pulls out a little bit. You can see this pulls out. This side pulls out. 
And that's a great question. And then here, this is like a half circle. I mean, we can we'll get into that circle shape. Um, and we can actually use this, um, the head now, and we can see that we can actually probably fit a, a head here and it comes out more than a head. So we can use the head space and you should be able to see that head space and see another head space in here. But it actually, uh, the head space, I would probably, uh, uh, just by eyeballing it, goes to about right here. And then you've got this leg that comes out. But the bottom's pretty flat. The bottom's pretty flat. So great question. And that's what it's about. I love questions. You got to ask questions. You got to be curious. And now more than ever, chat GPT, you throw those questions in there. OMG. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're really leaving the information age. We're leaving the information age. And we're really going into the knowledge age. Where knowledge, it's it's more than just knowing things. It's it's knowledge. It's 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 uh, it's insane where we're headed, as far as you know. It's it's like the, you know, everybody talks about their iPhone. It's this. That's how big it is. You're gonna see. Um, yeah, you'll be hearing about it. You will if you haven't heard about it. You will be hearing about it more. And it's like, what was he talking about? Why is he so excited about this artificial intelligence, uh, AI, I I I I I. You're probably even using it without even knowing. It's 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 going to be ubiquitous, and it's only getting better. Oh my gosh! Every time I've seen it in the last few months, I've been seeing it just get better and better and better. It's insane. And there's pros and cons with everything, every technology. There's pros and cons. Pros and cons. Yeah, there's the pros and cons of the internet. Pros and cons. All depends on you know. We got to bring the good. You know, use good for good. Ah, I don't know. All right, oh, I've been getting these uh, messages. I haven't even checked them yet. Somebody's bombing my phone. I usually don't. I didn't look at that many. I'm popular today. All right, so I'm looking at these angles <laughs> without saying anything. I'm just doing it. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about something else. And it's pretty straight here, but there's a slight curve. I mean, you want to see this straight angle here, and then you can see that curve pull. It's just a slight pull. And then you can see this, this slight pull here. All right, and let's take a look at my phone real quick not today yeah see oh your feelings can get you into so much trouble yeah you gotta you gotta let let your uh feelings uh oh they're they're worried about me if i made it because i told them i was running late <laughs> yeah i'm online <laughs> i told somebody i was running late all right that's that's what all that phone thing is going on all right here we go all right, I think that's a breakdown. I think that's a good breakdown. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. But yeah, your feelings, a good way to guide, help guide you. I mean, feelings, with thinking and feeling, it took, hey, wow, a lot of people don't know there's a difference between thinking and feeling. And there is, there is. And emotions can get you into trouble. Sometimes you don't feel like doing stuff. Sometimes that's where discipline, discipline needs to come in, you know, and that's that's the hard part. Hard part, discipline, because uh, sometimes you don't feel like doing stuff. Sometimes, uh, uh, thank you, baby Jesus, Jesus, that I made it safe. All right, let's get our, our squares in here for the head. <laughs> well, let's get our first square. Let's get a square, because the square is uh, universal, same height, same width, that ratio, right? And then we cut that in half, and then we get that half, see? And we bring it over to the other half. And that just that just you know that one third and bring that over and there and there she blows and that's all we need to see we, there's the head and then we have that much space we're going to need a little more space for that that other leg um i can easily just bring it over just to I'm just eyeballing it i'm saying about that space and i know that that leg is going to come out here way out to this edge let's bring it down <laughs> but we've got our shape we've got our ratio right here ratios wrap you heard it here first. I invented it. Um, actually, the artists do it, but they don't. They don't. It's never been broken down like this, where you focus down on ratios, and then angles, and then proportions, and we're drawing the structure. We're drawing the shapes. We're drawing what we see. All right. So we're going to pull out this 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 on this side, not all the way to the top, just right here a little bit. Bring it down and bring that cheek. We're going to add that little cheek, so just a little bit. It's just a little cheek right in here, right in there. Pull out that that cheek it's pretty straight and then comes up on this other side try to capture this form the shape because it is it is actually i'm going to draw it without the, the well yeah without the, 
the ears, the triangular ears. But I'm drawing the shape. The artist uh, sees this shape, but he doesn't draw everything. He implies it. See, um, I'm drawing it there. But I want you to see the shape. And that shape it looks like a piece of bread uh, or something. Um, and then we add the ears. The ears are a little pulled out. They're triangular, but they pull out. They're kind of like a leaf does. So it's a triangle, but it's pulled out. So they kind of, uh, you know, this, this triangle here is a compound triangle. It's a triangle that, that uh, whose mom and dad is one, one's probably a, a triangle and the other one's a circle. Mm. There we go. So there's one ear and then out the other, same thing here, a little bit rounded, a little rounded triangle on this other side. And the thickness of line, really nice. The artist, I mean, this is really, really like the, the artist who uh, really has a character, a character in the way they're using the line. We won't, I'll, I'll talk about it when I get to shading it um, or doing it a little bit. We're just drawing this head here. Uh, and right here, this top of the head, he only does it uh, part of it. It doesn't go all the way through. He just does this part. And what's happening here is uh, the it, it just goes into the body. This head kind of just goes into the body. So you get just this half of that top of the head. Don't go all the way. Don't go all the way. Rosanna. Yeah. Now I can see here um, on this side is where the um, that circle kind of goes up. So we're going to kind of, it goes at an angle and it kind of swoops over, swoops over, not today, <laughs> swoops over down to this leg down here, kind of uh, feeling it, I'm going to really push it right to the edge because it comes down here and then it adds onto it and changes direction just slightly for the foot right in there, right in there. Here's that foot. I mean, uh, I don't know, there's, I'm not describing a lot of stuff. Because there's this shape here. That's the kind of the shape of the foot. It's kind of added on there. So as we're, as we're looking at shapes. Goes up, down, go around. And this is where you can get, um, you know, um, get into trouble a little bit as far as like the the um, the proportions. This might be, uh, you know, but that just comes with practice and time. You want to look at the ratios first, depending on what level you're at. If you didn't get the proportions, that's okay. This is uh, how big this is compared to everything else. I'm not really talking about it. this foot. This foot probably comes in and then it curves. There's a slight curve. Then we got that arm that's in here. Oh, actually. Here, you can see this. In, uh, let's, let's break this down. So um, this arm here, you can see the distance from here to here. And this arm kind of goes a little bit on the inside of that, that halfway point, I guess, halfway from the, the head to this tail. Is this arm right in here? Well, right in there. I'm getting these two angles, getting that inside part. Kind of looks like a seal. Oh, oh. A seal of approval. There we go. This arm kind of comes up and then down at a slight angle. Slight angle. And then it kind of straightens out a little bit and then it curves up and over and back. This whole arm right here. Notice the slight angle, slight angle down. Then it curves around that paw, the paws there. And then comes back up. And then here we go. Uh, there's one little curvy and then another little curvy for these uh, paws. We'll take a little pause. That's <laughs> all right. Hey, he's in a good mood tonight. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a good mood. Oh my gosh! Even even dealing with two hours of traffic, imagine that. Jeez, it's like I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> it's all good. All right, yeah. So there's a lot of character to his line. Yeah, there's a lot of character. All right. So even though I broke this down, I didn't really see where it was, but I broke this down into thirds. The nose is gonna be on this 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 half 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 side because he is facing the, the he or she the cat is facing that way. So, uh, uh, and I'm just looking and I'm, I'm just assuming 
that that nose is going to be like right on that middle half by chance i should i need to go back and, and redraw it see if it's true if somebody would have screenshotted that so we had somebody who was screenshotting and uploading the screenshots uh, but uh nope. not today <laughs> Oh, here we go. The, the nose. Oh, I just threw it in there. I didn't describe it. Let's break this down in a half so you can kind of, you know, I'm bringing this down halfway this way. The eyes, um, eyes, eyes, eyes. There's a little bit of a triangle. Oh, look at There we go. The nose is about half, half of that, about a fourth way down. A little bit less than a fourth. Fourth's probably a little bit above it. So you got to see these relationships, these fractions, these parts, the whole, the whole in the parts. Take some time. And then the thickness of line. And what's great about thickness of line is that you can, if you make a mistake, you can, oh, I did it too much that way. Let's go more this way. Or let's add more that way, you know, to get to get it a little more accurate. Okay, wait a minute. And then the line's really shaky. I mean, the, the artist used probably some kind of ink pen and just throwing the shapes in there. You know, just, he knows what he's doing. He just, man. And then there's the, the line quality where it goes thick and thin and, Really a lot of nice stuff happening. All right, so uh, we're going to get the eyes in there. Let's zoom in. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom on zoom. There we go. That's better. Now I can see. And let's add the eyes. So one eye is going to be um, on this side, right in there. I'm, I'm going to just kind of putting it a little representation. And then that same kind of angle right about on this side. And I'm seeing the distance from the nose. It's probably like that much, right about there and right about there. Seeing how it fits. Now, this is where I can actually, you know, I, I kind of have the height. And I can slowly just build it out, slowly build it out. See where I like it. No, a little wider, a little wider, a little wider, a little wider, a little wider. If it went too high, maybe start rounding it. You see, I'm going from the inside out and just adding to it, adding to it till I get the shape that I like right in there see didn't have to erase didn't have to do any of that i worked my way out out get out there it is if i need to bring it down a little bit more i can bring it down a little bit more see all right so now we got the other eye let's get that other eye in there right about in here let's see let's see get small see and then just slowly add to it like a, like a piece of clay and just adding to it until I match the one on the left. So I just get, add it. If I go too far, then I have to add more to the the one on the left. But you see, I can slowly add to it. Slowly add to it. Get it. You can draw anything you see. You can do it. The thing is just to do it and then to fail. <laughs> the thing people don't like failing. To fail and see, okay, what went wrong? Okay, how can I make it better? Okay, I'm going to submit this drawing and see how Chavez breaks it down. I love you. That's my name. <laughs> That's my first name and last name. You know too much. All right, <laughs> here we go. Getting silly. All right. That's, uh, I think there's just this inside part of the ear. We're done with the face. There it is. Looks like a polar bear. I don't know. I'm getting polar bear vibes. Oh, it's got, we need the, the whiskers. The whiskers. Let's do the whiskers on the right. Because they're in this space right in here. And I can already see it before I do it. I can see it. I can see it in that space right in here. There's one kind of going like that. And then the other one below it like that. See, now here I'm actually really almost hovering my drawing. This is really good. When I have my drawings further up, uh, they, they, they get distorted. <laughs> they get distorted. I have to remember. I'm trying to, I'm trying to play for the camera, but. Also, I gotta see what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna draw the um the leg here first. I'm gonna do the leg, then do the whiskers. So let's move this over. This leg in here, uh, it comes up and it slightly comes down. There's there's a slight angle to it. So from so from right here, it comes down. Kind of the opposite of the other arm. It comes down. And we're gonna uh, from up here as well. Again, noticing from right there, right in there. And it does taper as it comes down. So we are drawing a shape. We're not drawing lines. We're seeing this shape, the shape that's here. It tapers as it comes down, uh, which means it gets smaller. 
it's not a tapered tail it's just tapers which it just gets smaller as it gets uh away from the the cat face and there's a thickness to that there's a thickness there's really a lot of thickness to these lines really a lot of character i, I like it we get to do with a marker or a pen or a brush pencil's a little more work pen is a little more work you're gonna have to which is cool it's good i mean it's a good thing because then you're you know getting to that thickness and seeing that thickness and drawing it in and then you appreciate when you have a brush and like oh you can do this in one stroke what one stroke one stroke drawing yeah one stroke it's all right speaking of strokes you know hi the strokes the band all right so we put the little pause in there and then take a little pause <laughs> there we go we're almost there oh i think we are we are there that's just just thickening up the lines that's all we got to do is thicken up the lines let's zoom out the cat is there not today not today so it's it's the, this thickness of line and then once you get your pencil to kind of uh you know have a, a chisel point you can actually almost do a one stroke itself it's almost a one stroke with it with the pencil tip I mean, your pencil, especially if you give it this much lead, I actually used a razor to kind of, or a blade to cut it. So, um, yeah. And then now I can hold it at an angle and really, you know, get my uh, thickness of line, that line quality in there. And get that thickness of line. Notice how thick that line is. Yeah, my students always had trouble. Not all of them some of them it's always those few and it's okay if, if you if you're there i was there once too i'm like oh the thickness of line i don't know what percentage what was it but i'm getting the thickness of the line the, the, the weight the weight is over all right so i'm thickening up all my lines but the drawing's pretty much done all right second down we're in here almost an hour two cats <laughs> puss in boots quick question in the chat if you have time uh, sure uh okay having trouble not making bunny ears oh yeah yeah it is it is trouble and then we got uh, do you look back at the original picture or go by whether the image on the drawing looks right more ah uh, i try i try to look back and forth like right now here i can see that i can, I can add uh, a little bit more to this uh, triangular shape if it's looking to, you know, you might, might be not um, seeing that triangle and pulling it out. I do look back and forth. I tried, I tried to copy it as much as uh, possible, uh, you know, and it doesn't matter. Sometimes you just want to go with what you feel, too. But, um, you know, uh, to improve your drawing, you do want to shoot for uh, accuracy. Uh, and you're not going to always, you're not going to hit 100%. It's really hard to hit 100%. But just, just aiming for that. You can look back and forth, compare and contrast. Like right now, I'm looking back and forth. I can see, uh, like, if as I look back and forth, I, I this should be a little bit wider, a little bit wider, a little bit. And that's just those little slight, slight things. And you kind of get it by looking back and forth, looking back. If it was side by side, you can get it even more. But yeah, it's, it's, and, and if it's rabbit ears, what's happening, your ratios, your ratios really, you probably just went a little long on it instead of getting these angles, right? getting those angles great question see um one more question personally i go by the image but i think it, it is better to do what looks right i'm too rigid yeah yeah and, and you got to develop your taste and you like you know don't have to straight copy i mean you're just copying for inspiration and then you go with what you feel and like and then you go back and like well, why did i feel that and like oh wait a minute i saw this and sometimes you i don't know i don't know it's just doing it's just doing it's 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 the doing you're a human doing human being don't just be do i don't know <laughs> what am i saying i don't know there's thickness in line back here you gotta get that thickness no we don't all right what's next oh we had a dragon the dragon let's do the dragon dragon looks it's fun we're in our first hour so uh, if you're just here for the first hour that's it the first hour is the these beginning drawings the dragon actually takes us kind of like to these we're kind of like a little bit intermediate beginning intermediate they were fun we have two cats two cats meow <laughs> lazy cats 
And here we go. Let's go with the dragon. Let's share our screen. Hopefully, I answered your questions. Keep ans asking. That's the thing. If I don't answer, I'll I'll, I'll keep answering. Maybe a different way. You got to keep answer asking the question. Sometimes, you know, I don't do a good job of answering. I know I look back at my recordings and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm like I should have explained it this way or, or I come across something. I say, just go ahead and make bunny ears. <laughs> that is how we come up with things like a bunanuka, but bunankula. Anyway, it's a bunny with Dracula. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a vampire rabbit benuncula that's it benuncula. benuncula and the jackalope <laughs> that's it jackalope <gasps> jackalope all right here we go let me share my screen let's do this dragon all right let's see here we go we got a dragon where's our dragon there's a dragon happy dragon surprise dragon then we got a bird we got a face uh, we got to get off of the cartoons a little bit uh Ooh, that one looks interesting, the bee. Uh, we got that one. Got some really quick, sketchy squirrels. Squirrel! A little mouse, field mouse. Oh, look at that. People have been asking for um, landscapes. I think we'll do this one, definitely do this one. Ooh, Jane. Jane. Stop this crazy thing. Look at this. Oh, this is definitely a... Uh, something for intermediate to advanced there's a lot of detail in here there's a lot of stuff going on we'd spend an hour just on this drawing alone this is this is where i don't want to bore people or get people like you know this is simple hey that one's actually we can do that one really quick i'll do that one really quick actually and this one's fun this one looks fun that's definitely uh all right so oh and then the hatching and the stippling I just got to practice it, really. I mean, you can see it there. You can see the spheres. The intermediate to advanced. Oh, that's shape. That one's really neat, too. Yeah, we got too much to do. Too much to do. All right. And we're down the last. Yes. The, um, the volcano, that's where you show us how to simplify. <laughs> how to simplify. Break it down into shapes. Yeah, I can break it down. But um, well, leave, yeah. leave stuff out. <laughs> Huh? Leave stuff out. Simplify the picture and leave stuff out. All right. Okay. Well, <laughs> give it a go. Yeah. I mean, you, you don't have to, but no, you no. Know, we, we, it's something we also have to learn, isn't it? How to simplify a picture and leave stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. And the artist has already. I'm sure there was even more to, to that. I'm sure there was more to that, but uh, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see if we get there. See if I, uh, my batteries are pretty good right now for some reason. And I didn't get, I didn't sleep well. Oh my gosh, I didn't sleep well. I did not sleep well. So I, I'm gonna pick up the speed. I'm gonna definitely pick up the speed. So um, uh, let's let's pick up the speed here. We're gonna pick up the speed. We'll do the dragon, and then we'll do the um, uh, the, uh, this face. We'll do a lot of these maybe pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, this, some of this detailed stuff. All right. Let's do the dragon. All right, here we go. Copy image address. Too many cartoons, somebody said. Let's, um, hmm. I don't know. All right, cool. Well, let's do that. Uh, let's put it in the chat. Oh, I've got a lot of new chats. Thanks. On today's event page, to be more specific, posted as photos. Oh, oh, let me refresh this maybe because I know that somebody used to put the Zentangles. So I haven't seen them. Oh, I got to refresh this one. There we go. Oh, yeah, I see it says 30 now. Uh, 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 so there's supposed to be some Zentangles on here. So we're done with our first hour. Thank you for joining us. If you're leaving us, uh, it's fine. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. You know what's happening is overlapping. It's a lot of in and out on that one. That's not really a Zentangle, though. I don't think that's a Zentangle. Oh, that wasn't that's she said that it wasn't that's not technically a Zentangle pattern. No. But after um after she finished drawing the shapes and doing the overlapping, uh then she would draw she drew in Zentangle patterns inside the shapes. Ah, yeah. Can I show you one of my Zentangles? Sure, sure, sure. We can take a break. Let's see. Uh let me uh, stop sharing here. There we go. There we go. What you got? 
Oh yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah. Look at that. That's nice. I like I like the dark background. A nice contrast in the movement. But, you know, you know, Eladio. I when I was when I was at work, I used to uh, doodle a lot during uh, meetings. Oh yeah. That was before I knew about Zentangles. Uh huh. But like it, it has kind of like the Zentangly element to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole doodle so, thing. Uh, um, let me just show I you. I did one. share there, there is a, a website, uh, Doodle Doodle Addicts. Doodle Addicts, they're really good. Yeah. Maybe so this, just this thing here, this thing is called Paradox because right. you're drawing straight lines and then yeah. it ends up looking like a curve. Yeah. 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 But you, you, you're not drawing anything curved. It's just, right. it's really, really cool. And yeah. I, yeah. I couldn't follow along with that lady. Yeah, it's geometrical. There's, 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 um, yeah, uh, actually, there's something called string art that's very similar to string art. I remember doing that as a kid. We, uh, we using string art. Let me share my screen again. All right. So, uh, we are going to draw the dragon. Actually, I didn't oh, break it. Can I just show you the, the, the face that, you know, that I read? Really sure. Hold on. While I have the screen, um, let me just do a string art real quick. Oh, actually, I'm not even sharing it. Oh, oh, your face. Uh, hold on. Ah. Hold on, let me go back. Ah, I'm all over the place. There we go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I added, I added this part. Right, you... right, right, right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. All right. Here we go. So let me share the string art. Yeah. So here's the string art. Uh, how to make your own string art. You can see that, that there's some images there. Yeah. Really mathematical. Really a lot. Look at here's this one. And it looks like it has curves, but it's they're all straight lines. See these curves and stuff, but it's all it's all straight lines. And, and you just put the nails down, and then you just put the string on the nails. Yeah, that's really seventy eight dollars. Good lord, string art kit, do it yourself, string art. Oh my gosh, these are not that hard to do. <laughs> you just get a bunch of nails and string. That's seventy eight dollars. Etsy, Etsy. I see, I see. I can get some really complex ones. Look at this. It's really neat. Amazon, $23. Wow. Yeah, it's all, just look at all curves, but it's all straight lines. It's all straight lines. Yeah, so string art. Oh, there was another one. Who's that? Oh, the dragonfly. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, so it's all string art. Yeah, it's been around for years. So. That that blue one reminds me of a spirograph kit. Oh, I yeah, yeah, too. yeah. Spirograph's fun, too. More geometry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's jump to this dragon. There he is. All right, let's get to it. Oh, let's. Oh, you know what? Here, let's break it down a little bit at least. I won't break it down as much. I'm gonna start picking up the speed. I know some people I leave behind. Um, let's see. I definitely see like a square in here. Oops. But I'm trying to see a big, the big shape. A big shape. The bigger, the better. Uh, is this whole there's a square right there so if we do that then bring this down actually right in there with that shape but and how does that relate so for our ratio bring this up you can see this is half we can break this in half look at that here's our square and here's the top that top half that top oval that's at an angle and then we got this uh, bottom. It looks like it's a half. Oh, it's a little bit more than a half. A little bit more than a half. Well, oh, actually, ooh, look at this. We bring this up higher. Dun, 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 dun. Then bring that half down. Oops. Wrong half. We're just looking at the ratios. No racial discrimination here. That's people who don't like ratios. I hate ratios. <laughs> There we go. That's real. I, oh, I, oh, that's interesting. That jumped, made it jump to a, a, a square. There we go. Now we go. That's probably a half. A square and a half. Yeah, that's probably. Oh, square. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's probably it's more now. <laughs> you just play with it a little bit. That's more than. Uh, there we go. So that's the ratio. But here, this is definitely the half. You can see there's the halfway point right there. Boom, and it just comes out the way it curves out, curves in. All right, let's just do this. There's a lot going on. I can't, uh, there's too much to explain. So if you no, get no, no, don't start. <laughs> don't there's, start. Don't start, don't start. 
Uh, there's a chat question for you. Chat question. Thank you. I, uh, several. How can I get better at seeing the basic shapes? I would never have seen that square on a dragon. Is it, is it easier to see in simple drawings as a beginner? Uh, yeah, you. What you want to do is, uh, see, this is where oh, this is where that video is is simplify things. Like here, um, like this, 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 this bottle here. Um, you know, you got to see it at, at a simplest shape. So you kind of have to change the angle. And, and basically, really, we're looking for squares and circles. That's all you're really looking for, uh, squares and circles. Uh, it just simplifies, just squares and circles. Everything can be kind of broken down into a square or a circle um, and see how does it relate to a square or circle. Oh, look at this one. It's uh, celebrate you birthdays. But look at this, this. You can see the circle here, but it's not a circle. It's an oval, right? So you really want to see the bigger the shapes, the better. Uh, if we zoom in on this little birthday card here. Um, and see here, you see this is, uh, you can see it's not a square, it's a little bit out, and then you're looking at the angles. Well, are, I'm still seeing the dragon, are we supposed to see something else? Oh, um, hold on, let me stop sharing. There we go, hold on, let me get to my screen. Uh, spotlight, there we go. That's what we're talking about. So yeah, this is what we're <laughs> looking at here. So um, yeah, this is uh, like a circle, but it's an oval. So just basically, yeah, you do want to look at, uh, I might have to leave, I'm moving, I'm loving this. I will keep an eye out for uh, a meetup app so I can see what other classes uh, you will show. Yeah, I just have Tuesdays and Thursdays right now, um, but I, I, it's more than meetup app, it's our website. We have a website with videos. Uh, we, if you go to absolutebeginner.org, absolutebeginner.org, absolute absolute beginner this will change so i don't know beginner.org it's one of the websites i i own absolute beginner.org if you go to that it'll take you to our our um our youtube channel uh, it'll take you to our youtube channel let's see let me share my screen and see if it does it and you can see uh, other videos that we've done. But once uh, once I get it, the best thing to do once I, in about a year in about a month, I'm hoping I'm hoping really next this month, this month to really put um, effort and time into um, the website and really is, is put, that second value? I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay. Is that second value on? Hold on, I can talk. Is that second vowel on absolute an O or a U? Abs, it's abso and the loot beginner. I did. I, uh, of course, we can't see it. Uh oh. <laughs> I, hold on. Where am I? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. Let me type it in. Let me see. Let me share my screen and then type it in. And see what ha see what happens. See if it goes there. Uh, here we go. Yeah, and then, uh, well, uh, my, ideally, I would create a um, absolute, there it is, absolutebeginner.org right there. And it takes you to our uh, Sketchbook Hero um, website, absolutebeginner.org. Takes you to our website with uh, YouTube, and it has all the other uh, ones, uh, drawing a sheriff, drawing a horse, all these other ones that we've done uh, for the last two years, two years now, going on strong. Uh, but it's not all the videos. Some are two hours, three hours. I'm going to cut all these up. There's a lot of work to be done. Uh, but um, yeah, I don't want to see. Yeah, I, I would like to, really like to just do it like this, how to draw a horse. But this one has more than drawing a horse. This is three hours. It's not just three hours on how to draw a horse. There's there's other drawings in here, like this one too. I don't know. Some of these I, I've watched over in the background all right let's jump to our dragon we're dragging our tails here is that what we're doing uh we need to follow your your youtube yeah if, if you want to follow my youtube uh you know go to uh sketchbook here we have 75 subscribers now uh we've gone up uh, this this last few months i've been pushing and promoting it a little bit but yeah it's good to and that's what i'm gonna have in that promo video the promo video i'm gonna probably create a promo video i'm gonna play every night so I don't have to repeat myself and say, hey, like and share and do all that stuff. And then uh, start off the video. So I don't, you know, and, and just nice, quick and and uh, and uh, yeah, get it in there. All right. And our website. Now, well, let's do that, too, since we're talking about it. Uh, sketchbookhero.com. Sketchbookhero.com. Sketchbook, not warrior. Sketchbook warrior gets you into. Actually, if you go to sketchbookwarrior.com, that takes you to the Zoom 
our Zoom thing. So if you were to sketch Quick Warrior, that'll take you into Zoom. I know some people had trouble getting into the Zoom class, and I haven't even gotten a chance to respond. I've been so busy. But Sketchbook uh, Hero, sketchbookhero.com is our, our website. But if you go to sketchbookwarrior.com, that takes you to uh, the Zoom class. So Sketchbook Hero, this is the, the drawing course. And this is where um, you can see here, really, you learn about a lot about yourself when you're drawing. It's this journey, you know, uh, how persistent, how patient can you be? Can you reach a goal, right? You have a goal, you have a purpose. Uh, why, you're, why, why are you turning? And each of these are going to have uh, videos as we go through here and learning about line, straight line, and really about shape, ratios, angles, proportions. See, there's going to be a video for each of these um lessons and the, each lesson should be about 10 minutes or less uh but you know the, this but there's going to be one two three four five you know videos on here and these are the lessons and we just uh like tonight we just practice we just we just really just practice what we uh, uh draw all right 20 of you hanging in there and uh, let's uh let's jump into this yeah i haven't haven't updated this since july all right, so yeah, yeah, there we go. Form, and then you go into form, and uh, so on and so forth. There's some videos and other resources. Uh, um, yeah, I'll put those together someday. But really good stuff, actually. There's some really good videos, drawing for beginners, a lot of good stuff. I'm gonna work on organizing better, uh, drawing, and just keep going down and down. It's all unorganized, really bad, terrible. Oh yeah, look at that. That's this picture is probably about a year ago. There is. Is that? Uh, I thought I saw Ellen in there. <laughs> all right let's jump to the dragon jump to the dragon he says all right so here we go we can't see <laughs> sorry let's zoom out zoom 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 all right so let's start off with our square we got our square and then uh the dragon's gonna be in there the square and then we got another is a square and a half is that what it is i can't remember <laughs> a little bit more than a half so it's all gonna fit in there and this is just, uh, I'm blocking it out really quick. This is just to see how it's going to fit on my paper. Use my imagination and um, beginning with the end in mind. Can I see this? This is where my dragon is going to be. Can I see just with these little sketches? See, imagine, imagine dragons. <laughs> imagine the dragon here. Oh, those are, some of you got that joke. All right. And then we cut this in half, right? See, look at that. We just cut that in half. And then you can see that here's the body. The head's going to be up there in the body. And then you can see it's, it's almost drawing itself. Almost drawing itself, he says. Yeah, it's that easy. <laughs> and if you order today. <laughs> All right, here we go. So uh, we have, that's that's why we do this. So um, in here, there's a little bit, I don't know. It, it, uh, how can I describe this? Um, okay, here we go. The, this mouth right in here. It cuts, it cuts in there. And it really just swoops around in here and then comes up. And then it, it squares off right in there. See, that's the head right in that space. And the mouth is open right in there like that. And I'm drawing a little faster, not describing as much. The eyes are up on here in this space right in there. See, I can see the eyes together as one eye. And then I can break it apart. You should be able to kind of like see the parts in the whole. I mean, see, because the reason I see these eyes together, because then I can relate that to the, this bigger shape. I can relate that to this bigger shape and see, is that big enough? Is that, you know, how big is that compared to the, to the body, to the, to the body, to the head, boot to the head, boot to the head. All right, here we go. So this is like an oval shape, but the bottom is a little rounded, a little bit of a little flat, not rounded. The, the bottom is a little flat. See, as you as you start seeing these compound shapes, the eyes are more um, oval shape. This one's bigger. The one on the left is a, a bigger oval. So this is an oval shape. There's one oval, and the other one is a little bit smaller. This the right eye. I, I actually even did it on automatically. Look at that. Without even describing it, I made it a little bit smaller. I'm just moving so fast. I'm moving faster than I can speak. And then this eye is a little bit smaller in there. And there's a lot of stuff going on in there. There's two highlights um, inside that pupil. There's two highlights. There's one uh, top right, and then there's a lower left. Top right, lower left. If you can get them to fit, great. If, if not, you can see I'm squeezing them in. Uh, the two highlights. And then there's the pupil, the little dark inside, the dark part. And right there, I'm just going to put that little dark pupil 
dark pupil and all my pupils. All right, there we go. And a little bit of shading for the eye, a little shading for that blue, blue, goodbye blue sky. Right in there. <laughs> oh, all these little references I'm throwing in there. Some people might get it. Some people don't like blue sky. Pink Floyd, what's that? <laughs> Here we go. All righty. I amuse myself. All right, here we go. There's the eyebrows up in the eye, up in the sky. All right, getting that shape. Look at that. Oh, I'm drawing pretty quick. I'm drawing pretty quick. Picking up the speed here. And we got the nose, the nostril. Look at in the top half. I can see it. See, I'm looking at these relationships, and this top half is where those uh, the nostrils are. And in this, if I can break this into fourths. You know, it's in this this half, this quadrant, right in there. That's where the nostrils are. See, instead of having to draw grids, grids are good. I mean, grids. You got to do some grids. You got to do some grid work, especially if you want to get accurate. So you want to draw those. You got to do some grid, uh, some heavy duty grids. We don't really do too many grids here. We've done them as a class. This one's a little bit thinner. It's in there. I'm just drawing. But you got to do your grids. Yeah, definitely do your grids. You got to do some good grid work. Because space is the hardest thing to see. This crazy thing about space is there's so much of it in space. Space, space. And see how everything fits these shapes. I can like see these two shapes as one shape. Right? See, like I'm, I'm just, but there's two shapes here. Don't always have to do it. But you can see it if you can see it. And then do it. See, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. And then uh, here's the mouth coming through there. Going pretty quickly. He's got four teeth. He's got two. He's got one right about here. I'm, doing, I'm sketching them in lightly. One, two. And then another two. One, two. Maybe move this one over a little bit. One, two, right in there. Uh, this one's like, oh, probably a little bit closer. Okay. Trying to get the placement. Move this one over now. Move that one over now. There we go. See, I made all these mistakes, but I did them really, really light until you get it right. Do it light till you get it right. And then, bam, right there. Look at that. Bam, there's the tooth. Bam, there's another tooth. And then, bam, another tooth. All four teeth. There it is. Ferocious. And he's got a little bit of a cheek laugh up here. A little cheek line. A little cheeky. Right in there. I don't know if you want to do the shading and stuff. I'm drawing. No, just keep going. Just keep going. Yeah. If I'm going too fast, you can watch the video. Just pause. Rewind. The beauty, beauty of technology. And that's the problem. That's the problem with, with uh, school. I mean, we try to keep everybody together. And uh, some people get bored. Some people get uh, left behind and they give up. They quit. The thing is to, you know, not quit, not get bored, figure it out. If it's going too fast, slow down, you know, you got to go at your pace. It doesn't matter, you know, what's important is that you're, you're at it, at it, you know, when you're first starting, it's going to be slow. You know, it's not a big deal. Go, go at your own pace. And then little by little, you know, like, like we're, I'm picking up this drawing. This, this is the speed on this one's going a lot faster than the other ones the next one i can probably even go faster I'm just uh, just picking it up picking it up picking up the pace pick up the pace all right the uh, tail is complex i'm gonna break it down there's um i can see this shape here and then and then the tapered tail the tapered tail see it's kind of like this oval shape oval shape and then there's a tapered tail to it so you can see the parts in the hole and there's two two parts to that tail and then uh the leaf shape which is not gonna fit i'm squeezing it in. <laughs> oh i didn't bad planning see all this space on this side I, I didn't imagine it i didn't imagine my dragon good enough that's all right i gotta do better at imagining dragons imagine imagine if you could imagine imagination more important than knowledge especially now man if einstein were alive whoo man he'd be like oh my god what have you done with my formula 
<laughs> he'd be he'd be amazed with what's going on with artificial intelligence. He'd be asking really good questions. He is amazing, and he knows the power of questions. You can ask amazing questions, and um, and uh, Chat GPT and other things can will answer those questions. And you can keep asking the questions. You don't have to worry about, oh my God, what are they going to think about me? You know, it's better to be a fool for a minute than a fool for life. And we live in such amazing times where you can ask questions and get answers. You know, hey, Google, how far is the moon? The moon is about 238,000 miles from Earth. Right. You can ask, ask, ask. Like, oh my, my, why are my legs off? I'm not, I'm not focusing. Focus. Thinking about the moon. Let's fix. Let's let's get these legs to fit. All right. So, there's that shape. Here's the foot. Foot's gonna be right there. Got to move it over. Got to move it over right in there. There we go. That's better. See those two, two, those two shapes. Yeah, but I mean, that's the the thing. Ask questions. Be curious. Why, how, what? Ask me. I might not know, but hey, it gets me thinking. I love questions. I love questions. I'm like, oh, wow. You know, there's no, there's no. And ugh, I hate it when people make other people feel not good about asking questions. Like, you don't know that. It's, it's this superiority, this uh, arrogance and knowledge, knowledge arrogance. I don't know. It's, it's sad. It's sad. And schools do that. Schools do it. No, why, why? If I could, if I was the king of the forest. All right, yeah, I would change things. Definitely got to shave the inside of the mouth. The inside of the mouth got to go dark. That's the darkest dark. You got to practice your shading. This is a good spot. Shading, what, how's the, what's, I mean, it's all value. That's the next, that's the next step in learning about color, seeing value and shading and, and lights and darks. Because everything has value. That's the next level. The next level from shape is form. And once you have form and structure, then you can start shading. You start getting your, your lights and your darks. You see, oh, we got the, the dragon the dragon wings. See, the I can see that the dragon wings is one shape right in there. See, the wings are going to be one shape right in there. And then attach that. And like that. And then we can break it apart. See, it's got all this complex stuff. But I see this this shape, that shape right in there. Where the wings are going to go right there little hot wings <laughs> i'm on fire <laughs> this guy is on fire all right all right funny 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 yeah, that's good i'm glad you know i i'd hate to have a class or today class we're just gonna draw this i, I don't know i guess I, I i like when it's like a little more lively even if you're just listening in not drawing along or drawing your own thing. You don't have to draw what we're drawing. You really don't. You can draw your own thing. Just get, get in here and ask your own questions. Hey, you know, that's what Tuesday should be. You should have Tuesday. You should have your drawings and say, this is what I'm struggling with. This is what I'm, you know, hey, how can we do this? And how can we do that? I mean, that's what really it should be. We've been doing faces uh, and stuff, but that's, it's all good. Uh, there's two wings. I'm shading the back wing because it makes it, makes it go back. <laughs> further back it's contrast contrast see that's where we need to be talking about all that stuff and that's the, uh, that's the next book i gotta do my first book first that's why we did these videos so i can work on my book but my book is is oh, i was doing that well i've got that one outline going then i had another outline going that i was working on for two hours and something and it just died patience persistence all right here we go we need the belly the belly of the beast Right in here, and should we zoom in? Get that belly. Right in there, that belly. There's those in there, and then the, the toes. The toes come out at an angle. There's an angle for the toes. Notice that angle. It's really important because it, it, they go forward, forward in space at an angle. Right in there, kind of notice that angle, that angle. Angle, angle, angle. Yeah, my brother, yeah, he's been to Aruba. He's going to Aruba again this week. Aruba, he's so lucky. Uh, it's, it's all good. Oh, Why my, doesn't he take you with him? I know, I know. He's taking his other brother-in-law. He's taking his brother-in-law. Hey, I'm his brother. 
I don't know. I guess I, he would take me. Actually, he would. I'd have to pay for my airfare. Though. That's the thing. That's 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 that's, that's what's holding us up. <laughs> that's the airfare. Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take it. Absolutebeginner.org. Uh, get a sign up. All right, what are we gonna draw next? I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna draw it. We're not. We're not going to share or anything. We're just gonna. Oh, yeah, we'll take a break. This one's actually pretty easy. This is. I think this is Shell. This looks like Shell Silverstein's drawings. It's just. A, it's just. A, it's not even. It's a cruelly drawn circle. It's not even a perfect circle. It kind of. It kind of wanks. Kind of wanks. It is Shell. Shell. It is Shell. Yeah. Yeah. Shell Silverstein. He's awesome. He pull, pulls out this way. And then you know, Shell Silverson is just crudely drawn. Awesome. And one ear here, almost Charlie Brownish. And another ear here. And then um, the two eyes above the center. A nose right about there. And this is these. It, it, this is actually good to try to draw and try to draw it accurately, because uh, uh, when you get to real faces, it does help it's the same thing it's the same thing seeing how everything fits where the parts are but it's just a little harder harder how big something is compared to something else there we go and he's on a diving board diving board you've been up on that diving board making sure that it's nice and straight you've made sure that it's not too slick you've made sure it can stand the weight You've made sure that the spring is tight. You've made sure that the cloth won't slip. You've made sure that it bounces right and that your toes can't get a grip. And you've been up there since half past five doing everything but dive. <laughs> it's, yeah, you just got to take action. Shell Silverstein knew that. And it's a little bit of fear. Sometimes you guys just jump into it and jump into the drawing. And that's where this, uh, this is diving board a nice little curve to it some overlapping because he's behind that diving board there's that curve that straight that angle and this is probably the hardest part getting this diving board see that that's the front part and all it is is this is just a cube a stretched out cube and it's curved it's got some curve in it goes off the page then it curves down Mm -hmm. closed it up there we go and he's got little dots yeah oh my gosh <laughs> flashbacks so when i was a kid the diving board and, and it was blue and then had a, like a white stripe at the end all right let me clean this up a little bit it does go forward there it is shell silverstein all right let's go to the next one ah the frog i really like that frog it's a cute frog there's a volcano, J Judy Jetson. Oh, I'll tell you what. We'll draw the frog, and then we'll draw the uh, this landscape. All right, I'll, I'll share my screen. Uh, should I share my screen with the frog? Oh, just go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I got to share my screen with the frog. All right, here we go. Here's the frog. This frog, it's, it's not a clear frog. The drawings, uh, the picture, it's a photograph is uh not clear it's copy image address go up here paste pick up the purse there it is zoom in it's a little blurry there it is a lot of little circles and stuff the angle is really interesting uh this is a little blurry you're gonna have to mix some of this stuff up um anyways we'll just use it we'll simplify it um all right let's put it in the chat something in the chat already Thank you. Had a blast. See you next time. All right, Phyllis. Thank you. That's why we're here. All right. Let's stop sharing. Let's jump into this frog. <laughs> jump into this frog. It just happens. It just happens. I like I like when it just happens. It's, it's so it's so uh effortless effortlessly it just lends itself to it's organic organic <laughs> all right uh oh there's the uh, oh she left i'm trying to i gotta share it to everyone you're organic <laughs> <laughs> sounds great all right so here we go oh i didn't break it down anyways i do see this angle here this angle here this angle here so um 
uh, I guess simplify it. And we're going to just put this angle here like that. And um, hmm, it's kind of almost like a square right in the middle, I would say. And then we've got the that that space. That's why it's important because we need that space, that space here between the eyes. It's kind of like a square, the height and the width. I'm looking at it. And then we just put the eyes in. There's uh, they're like two circle eyes um, above the center. Right there, right there. Bam. Let's go closer. See, so I have that. Because um, I'm trying to get that space in the center. And the eyes are kind of rounded, very rounded. They do kind of come in at a point slightly. There's a little bit of an almond shape comes in. Whoa, who's that? Oh, that's my daughter. She's so funny. <laughs> hey. Hey, Daddy. Hi, Mama. What you doing? <laughs> I'm in my drawing class. You look you. I know. You back here in your school? No, I'm online. <laughs> yeah i'm drawing online we're drawing online we have uh yeah we got a well you know what's your age what did i eat <laughs> Gosh. I ate. <laughs> what did you eat Why, is it chicken? <laughs> rice and chicken lucky you yep yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to finish this class and I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. All right. You got to go. Yeah. How many more? About another hour. I know it's going to be late. I'm, I am home. Yeah, I know. All right, mom. No, not tonight. <laughs> I'll talk to you. I know. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Love you, Dad. <laughs> Love you. Oh, Bye. Tomorrow, okay. Bye. Got it, Daddy. Got it. Love you. Love you. Bye, Daddy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yeah, she's my joy. <laughs> oh my goodness, sweetness. Yeah. But, I know. She, but did she know she was being recorded? No, she doesn't. Going on to YouTube. <laughs> No, she doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't know. One of these days, like dad, she she said, I always I always play with her. It was like dad. She's she's yeah. She's a, she's funny. Not funny. She's oh, she's a joy. She's a joy. Don't erase it ever. <laughs> no, recorded for posterity here. That's right. And it's gonna show up somewhere after I'm gone. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So uh, the, the <laughs> circles of the eyes do have a little bit of shapes. I, I did push a little bit of the almond shape in there. And this one's a little bit more. Uh, yeah, there's a little bit more of an almond shape, but I got, I got, yeah, you know, pushing this up a little bit. Um, that roundedness, they're really close to circles. You got to see how, how they're not a circle, but they're very close to being circles. Um, all right. Then the highlights, the highlights is what's going to make this. The highlights so it's going to make this so there's a highlight in here kind of rounded right in there there's one highlight and there's another highlight on this other side which i kind of lost but i'm gonna just go even darker even though i lost it i'm gonna go darker and to make that light there we go and then i'm just going to shade it in i'm going to shade those two shapes in shade all this in okay here we go there. Uh, surprise guest and she i think she's called one other time during class most of them sometimes oh you know what she's listened in a few times where i have her and and she's just listened in to me just talking to everybody <laughs> how old is she Lady? she just she's gonna be turning 26 okay she's gonna turn 26 um the 20th of this month yeah, she's 25 right now. I know she sounds younger. She's, yeah, she's. Yeah, she sounded like a little girl. Yeah. They are little still. 
Yeah, she is, but she's a sweetheart. She's she's my angel. Yeah. But she's always, always, I mean, just it's such a joy. She's always like really happy and really amazing. I mean, yeah. You're blessed. She, she, yeah, I know. I know. I know. She didn't start walking till she was like six years old. And she kept falling in, and I actually used her in my my um my uh my master's program. I, I gave her as an example of pay, uh, persistence. I mean, she just kept at it and at it. She would fall and fall, and then, you know, finally she started walking. It was like, wow, you know, it's you know, talk about struggling and 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 overcoming stuff. You know, it's like, oh, man, if she can do that, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're going to attach the eyes. We're going to attach these eyes. So we got the eye shapes and we got the space. Uh, we're going to attach the eyes. These, they just kind of kind of come around like this. And uh, this is the the how they're attached. Like just kind of like so attached to that space right in there. Come up and around like that. And then the back of the head, like right in there. It's already kind of there. And there's there's the top. The little nostrils, little nostrils. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in like this at an angle. They're hard to see, but like that. And then I'm gonna round out the inside part. So you get the angle, and then I'm gonna round out the bottom bottom part. Kind of like little seeds, right in there. And then, um, then we've got a little bit of a. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit of a of a, a bag like a little wrinkle underneath the eye on both sides and give it a little bit of a bulge and then um outside of that i'm going to do a mouth a mouth so we're going to bring a kermit the frog here i'm going to bring it out out here and just uh attach this little little frog here see all these shapes ah round it round it all right, how many people we got? If we got less than 10, we're closing shop. We go until we go until the hardcore heroes. Let's see. Uh participants, we've got uh 17 still hanging in there. Yay. Uh, two hours and going strong. Six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Uh we're going on three hours right now. Wow. Awesome. Hey, that's what it takes. All right. Let's practice, practice, practice. Now we go a little slow. Let's pick up this pace. All right. So it does the body kind of kind of just comes down at this angle here, this triangular thing. Probably a little bit more at angle on this side. and does pull a little bit more to the left. And then we've got this whole body thing going, this whole leg thing going. So that's kind of like the body. So we got one leg in here, uh, like this oval shape. It's kind of hard to see. That would probably, I would probably say that's that's that one leg, and then this is the back leg. This is this is back leg in here. Kind of looks like a number three, or an E. And then we got all, all these little little circles and and balls in here, stuff like that. Uh, all right, so there's this toe. Really hard to see what's going on. I'm gonna say that's a toe, and it's got a little. It's stuck onto a circle, right in there, kind of like that. Yeah. there's one and then this one back here i guess it's the um really hard to see but we'll say it's like two little banana shapes the little circles at the ends i think the little circle toes so um so you got that yeah i'm just drawing i'm not describing as much we got to do that i gotta i gotta do one of these where because there's so much to describe and, and kind of explain instead of just drawing it and then it seems like magic it's like wow so then even the shading here see i'm not i can shade it in and get that shape in there uh, let's get these other toes okay he's got another toe in here it's like double toes i don't know it's hard to tell what's going on there's all these little little toes going on uh, there's yeah there's a triangle right in here and the two toes kind of coming in right there and then 
I don't know. He's got all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, another one. Another one bites the dust right in there. Another toe. Right here, all around it right in there. I don't know. I don't know that anatomy. I can I can easily just blend it all in, you know, just a little shade. Uh, if you don't know it, you just you know just blend it all in. See, all this is all this in here. The, the bottom part's gonna be shaded too, not as dark. Let's see. There we go. Shade all this in a little bit darker. Oh well, maybe at least underneath here it actually goes back to to that light. Um, I'm gonna bring that body back up into this eye and let it go to the light. And actually, it should be darker here. Actually, this should be darker. And there's there's some form going on. I can actually um, see. I'm just doing this. See, I went a little bit darker here in that little spot because I have that one shade. Now I can, you know, this is this is form. I'm really adding form. I can add like a lip. He's got kind of like a little bit of a lip going. And then um, I can shade all this half a little bit darker. Once I have one shade, I can, you know, easily go into darker shades, build up my shades, my values. And if I wanted to, like up in here too, give it some quick shading, get rid of my square, a little bit of shading under there. Really quick, like Loomis shading. Look at that. Ooh, like Loomis. Oh, look, that, that's definitely Loomis shading. Look at that. Oof. Getting that Loomis shading. That's just hatching, hatching, hatching an egg. That takes practice. See, this is, I don't like those of you and beginners don't, don't get intimidated. Just try it. You know, and this is, I'm trying to break it down. I don't know where everybody's at. Everybody's at a different place, different experiences, different. Um, some people have had classes. Some people have not. It's just doing it. It doesn't matter where you're at. It's about where you're going. I'm going to add the little, little, um, branch he's on you actually can see behind too he's kind of like still even behind a little bit behind that branch what's cool about this branch is uh, uh it's draw one line and then try to get that shape you want to try to capture that shape capture that shape and then it goes into a different direction um and not just the line you're capturing the shape so when you're drawing one shape you got to see the other shape at the same the other line at the same time to create that shape we got a little stump right in here or something and then there's shadows uh, uh i can say there's a shadow like right in that half of this uh branch get that shadow in there the shadow knows all right we're going to do a landscape next listen pretty quick it looks looks it looks pretty tough it looks hard but hey it's simplified it was from a photograph. And people are like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> and seeing I'm hiding some of the stuff. You see, I'm hiding <laughs> these legs, these feet, shading, shading it all in. And maybe put a little more shade in that. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Getting some of that hatching, just real quick hatching. And zoom out. Zoom out, zoom out. Uh, ribbit <laughs> all right anyone else on the east coast with me yeah uh, is pearl still here pearl pearl's uh pearl's well, here. In... there you are Whoop. yeah so so uh, i guess laura's out in the east coast it's 11 uh, 48 p.m uh, uh, what time is it 11 48 11 48 wow and priyanka's here she's in texas and uh I mean, it's 11.48 here, too. <laughs> 8.45 or 8.48, actually. My, my clock, I got to fix that. <laughs> my clock's off. My clock's always off. <laughs> All right, there is the frog. The frog looks decent. Not too bad, not too shabby. Yep, 10.48. Wow. 10.48. All right, from coast to coast. There's our frog. Oh, let's go to our landscape. We're going to do the landscape, the landscape, and then the volcano, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's uh, do the landscape. I'll share my screen. There we go. Do this landscape. It's, but don't uh, forget Pearl's request. 
Oh, well, oh, well the, um, was that the Zentangle? Yes, she wants to help figuring out how to interlock the interlock things. Oh, okay, cool. It's just seeing the shapes and what it, what's uh, the overlapping. It's there's overlapping, so don't let the overlapping uh, confuse. So yeah, I can break that down. Yeah. We'll break and that and I posted a whole lot more Zentangles from that class than just the one you, oh, you saw. Did. Oh, well, I'm sharing my screen right now. So we got. Uh, oh no, I still have thirty on here. Let me refresh again. Refresh. Um, yeah, I have 30. Oh, there's that face. I can probably draw that face pretty quick. Oh, that one. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, you know, it, it's just, I see. They're just shapes and they're just going in and out. They're just weaving in and out. Very similar to the um, the, the Celtic, Celtic, Celtic knot. Very similar to the Celtic knot. That's all that's what's happening there. It's just shapes weaving in and out in there. Yeah, there's Zentangle shapes inside. That's that's neat. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's neat. Oh, yeah, that's what's happening. It's just a shape and it's just being there. It's just there's weaving going on. It's going in, in and out. So what you got to do is be able to see both shapes at the same time and then just go in and out, you know, overlapping, underlapping. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. This is they're really playing with space. Uh, and using overlapping space pods, what I call space pods, overlapping. That's really just overlapping. Something in front, something behind. Oh yeah, that's not too too bad. Yeah, you gotta you gotta see the shape. You gotta see this like like see the circle, another circle, and then just see how it it overlaps and underlaps. Yeah, that's what's happening there. That's what's happening. Uh, it looks kind of like a cartoon. Reminded me of a cartoon. Uh, what's that cartoon with the ears like that and the eye? I don't know. Zimpy. Simp. <laughs> Stimpy. Stimpy. I don't know. It's getting late. Oh, I feel my batteries. <laughs> Eight forty-eight. We'll go. We'll go till we can't go no more. Till the wheels fall off. And my car. My poor car. Transmission. That's why. That's why I got to start. I got to start asking for donations. All right, here we go. Where do we go? We're going to go with uh, this. Let's copy image address. So yeah, we'll do a Zentangle after this, and I think we'll call it a night. Uh, let's do this one first. Whoa, gosh. Can we make it smaller? There it is. All right, so we got um, uh, just uh, really quickly simplify, somebody said. Yeah, I don't I don't feel like doing that. All right, we lost some people. Good. We got uh, Hardcore Heroes we got down to 15. Hardcore heroes. Uh, let's see. I got my 6,000 steps in. I got to make sure I'm getting my exercise. What happened? Was there a comment, question? No, I was laughing. Oh. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I know. Oh, gosh. It's, it's hard, especially. What is that? Like five miles? What is it? I don't know. 6,000. No, 6,000 steps. Because that's how, no, wait a minute, 6,000 steps, you know, it might be, because I, I walk from my friend's house to my house, that's uh, 3,000 steps, and that's, that's like two miles, yeah, yep, 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 all right, I mean, I was on my feet today a lot, uh, working on, oh, I didn't even share that stuff, yeah, I'm going to share the, the, the stuff I'm doing at the at the uh the Montessori school all right let's break this down all right so here it is there's there's a, a shape could be a square could be a circle it's a zircle right there it's uh that shape and here's another shape another shape this is a big shape here and that other shape you got all these shapes shapes inside of shapes um but uh huh But what we're going to do is break this into fourths. And we can use the fourths here. See, that's about half and then half again. Especially when you draw something like this, this big, it's good to see it into quadrants. Because look at that. Look at that. You have all this in this space, all this in this space, and that space, and really helps you see the space. It sees, sees you, uh, shows you. Um, so if you're to draw this, this and this is kind of like grid drawing. This is a really basic grid, just four squares. It's probably off a little bit. Let me see. Let's move it over. I think I'm trying. I'm eyeballing it. 
I can use a square watch and see how close I get it. It's good to uh, eyeball it. It's probably just a little higher there. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to use an actual square and see how accurate I got. See how good I am. Ah. <laughs> stroke, stroke the ego. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Whoa. Bam. Let's see. Now I got to choose it. There it is. Let's see. Bring it over. There it is. All right. So it's a little bit lower and uh, and probably a little bit more to the left. Left. There it is. Yeah. Slightly off. Slightly off. There we go. So now I can bring this one a little bit lower. If, if we're shooting for accuracy. And this one, let me see. Was this a little more to the, the left? Yeah, this is a little more to the left. A little more to the left. To the left. To the left. There we go. Bam, that's more accurate. Now, if I click on the square, it's not a perfect square. See, it's, I was, it's not even a perfect square. It's a little bit wider, slightly wider, uh, ratio-wise. See, and then we got squares inside that. Now, these are squares inside that square. It's a bit, it goes out that way. All right. See, there we go. Let's do this. And if you really wanted to, you know, shoot for accuracy, even more accuracy, draw more squares. You would draw more squares. Um, and then take your time drawing each square. It's actually kind of fun. It's kind of like Zen tangles because uh, you're just focusing. So I, I can I can break this down into smaller squares. And then on my paper, break it down to the same squares. And then you're just drawing square by square. You're looking inside the square and you're drawing what you see in that square. You see, it just, it just takes work to do this. Um, you're just drawing a square by square. You can see inside the square, you just draw this. And you can actually break that if you're having trouble with a square, keep breaking it down into smaller squares. And that's grid drawing. If you're going to do it, yeah, it's not perfectly in the middle. But you get that idea. That's just giving you the idea anyways. There it is. Got to use a ruler. And that's a whole other thing. I had so many students that didn't even know how to use a ruler. OMG. Yeah, that's a sad state of affairs. Sad state of affairs. Yep, yep, yep. What can I say? I try to teach him. Yep, yep, yep. You just try. And then with this whole COVID thing, oh my gosh. Anyways, 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 any way you want it. That's the way you need it. Any way you want. Oh, I wish I could have screenshot that one. I should have screenshotted it. Did it, did, did. But I didn't. All right, here we go. Let's do this. We're going to draw a square. Break it into fourths. Let's see how much I remember. A big square. It's a big square. Into fourths. Use the fourths. Just really light. Again, props to the artists. We're using this for educational purposes only. We're not selling his drawings. I wish we could give him props. But it's Getty Images. <laughs> well, I take my students to the Getty. There we go. Okay, from the ghetto to the Getty. <laughs> Just kidding. We'd laugh. But it's all good. It's all good in the hood. All right. All right, so we got the tree that's about in here in this space. Right? It can't be. You drop down a little bit. Then we got the mountains that are over here. They got two set of mountains. Actually, there's three, but there's two together. They're about right there. And then that one. Then the road, the long and winding road. The long and winding road that leads to your home. Disappear a long, long time ago. Don't leave me waiting here. All right, I'm gonna bring the tree over a little bit. I got my circle tree, and then I've got the, the little on the sides. Lead me to your dome. And there's a lot of cross hatching, a lot of a lot of basically that's just shading, it's just hatching. Don't let it confuse you from the shapes and the form that, that are important. This is the, the important stuff. This is what's important. And then uh, the shading, because there's a lot of lines. Let's talk about, you know, simplifying it. It's more than just simplifying it. We're really seeing the, the shapes and the forms 
and the the shadows and all that stuff the, the cross hatching it doesn't matter there's a set of leaves here set of leaves over here all right need to drop out all right priyanka good night everyone free free have to go for now but enjoyed it again see you next time yep 1048 all right all right all right uh, yeah nine o'clock nine o'clock yeah we'll just go for let's do this real quick <laughs> real quick he says all right let's get the clouds in there up in here there's some clouds yeah i'm gonna do this really quick i'm not gonna even shoot that accurate accuracy I'm, I'm just putting everything kind of where it's at these clouds there's some clouds right that are going to hear the birds that are going to go in there all right i kind of blocked it all out i blocked it all out i blocked where everything kind of is everything in space and i can draw this really small or i can draw it really big like i said i know where everything's at i can see it i can see it in space and time all right so then i can see how big these bubbles are here we go one two three and i'm just i'm just faking it faking it this 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 cloud is in front of this other one that's right in here and i'm just drawing I'm drawing really quick really fast really just, just drawing now we're drawing picking up the pace look at that cloud Oof. oh wow how does he do it i don't know it's practice you know you go to the, you go see you see uh <laughs> who was it um i don't know which um and he was talking about Michael Jordan. He goes, "Oh man, I went. To, I was practicing. I went to go practice before a game, yeah. and Michael Jordan was already there practicing." And he goes, "Oh man!" So he practiced. He was practicing. He practiced even more. And when he was already getting ready to go, Michael Jordan was still practicing. He was still there. He was like, "Oh man!" And he goes, "Oh wow!" You know, um, he he said. Do you usually practice that much when they became friends? He goes, No, nah, I just saw you there. I saw you there, and I knew I had to out show you. I knew I knew I had to show you that um, you know I can outwork you anybody. And it was that's that work ethic, that practice ethic, you know, just uh, working at improving and getting better. And that's that's what it takes. That's what it takes. Yep. See, see, I'm breaking it down now. So you got that shape here. You got this other shape here. It looks like a more like a square. See, then I once I see that square, because it's it's kind of like there, and then I can see it into this other parts. You kind of be able to see the the parts, and um, yeah, going back and forth, and that takes a little thought to practice. It takes practice seeing all the parts and how they fit, and. Uh, Get the parts in whole and overlapping there's this overlapping shape right in here another overlapping shape there we go behind here this is part of the tree 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 so i go around and i'm picking up the pace picking it up picking it up pick up the pace new york city Claudia, yep. can you take a moment and show me the original picture, please? Ah, sure. All right, let's go share the screen. Uh, did I put it in the chat? I'll put it in the chat again, but here it is. Oh, here, original. Thank you. That's audio. good. All right. Got it. Great. And here it is in the chat. If I didn't put it in there, let's see. I think I did. You probably did. I just not good at pulling things up and looking on. Oh, that's screens. all good. That's all good. <laughs> I do that and then I lose you. <laughs> yeah. Well, here to help. Here to help. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. I, I, oh, no. I actually, you know what? I didn't put it in there. I did not. I'm looking back at the last post and it was a 94 dot web. This one's a 90 dot web. So, no, I did not. Thank you for, yeah, that's why I got to ask questions. Got to, that's we're here live. It's not recorded. And that really helps. It has more eyes. And we get real questions like, oh, wait a minute. How did you do this? How do you do that? Oh, well, this is the way we do it. This is how we do it. That's the thing. It's the how. It's the how. How how'd you do that? How'd you do that magic? We can believe in magic. So here, this branch and the spacing and seeing the negative space. See, there's a lot of things I'm doing. And that's where the lessons, you got to get all those lessons in there. Negative space. 
blind contour drawing. That's a that's a tough one. Yeah, I gotta get all those. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna crank them out. I decided <laughs> long ago never to walk. Now I decided to um <laughs> to actually just record just record with nobody and probably um yeah do less of this stuff and just record probably just go for an hour or two not three like we're doing and then um get the lessons out i need to get those lessons out because that's more important practice is important uh, that's what we're doing here practice but you got to understand what the lessons are too the lessons are really quick the lessons are really short because yeah, once you know the lessons i'm like oh okay and then you just we just practice and you're practicing one lesson the lesson i 10 minutes but to practice it you know you got to practice that lesson <clears throat> in itself if it's drawing ratios if it's drawing whatever all right blind contour drawing gesture drawing and just practice 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 yeah yeah there it is there's this other branch the flow of it oh missed that one there you go it's all right it's kind of oh let me flow that leaves tapered tails they're tapered their tails they're, they are because when i they they whip and they whip a little bit and they're like s shapes these leaves tapered tails this one's more like a just a tapered like a leaf shape these others whip a little bit there we go oh look at that coming in halfway done halfway through this thing already well, we still need the uh, cross hatching but this is the uh, structure here let's get these mountains in i just got one right in here whoop de loop and the other one next to it whoop de loop and then the other one a little flatter a little longer whoop the loop right there and they got two birds two birds of a feather birds of a feather flock together all right this this cloud is going to be a little bit higher than i have right there so you readjust it make it fit right in there I'll redraw it sketch it if i need to erase it i can erase that i don't like to erase but let's clean that clean that up draw it in sketch it in and then with practice you know okay you know what okay i need to i want to make this uh, like super real or i want to make this you know just the sketch i want to make this just a thumbnail thumbnail what's a thumbnail see that's mm, that's where i had my notes i had those notes i had those notes those all disappeared <sighs> so let it go let it go redo yeah the different kinds of drawing i had that in my notes i had the different kinds of drawing and I had I had it um, I had it in my notes somewhere else and I talked about it but um, but this time I was typing it up and I was color coding and I was doing all kinds of stuff. Ah, two hours of work, uh, let it go, let it go. I actually already let it go. I actually started building it up again, but it, I'm remembering the the <laughs> the person patience. Patience, persistence, got to keep at it. When things go, don't go your way. When you lose the files, when get things get corrupted. Been there, done that many times. Not good. Not, not fun. But it's uh, Google Docs was so awesome. I was like, uh, even before Google Docs, there was other uh, apps that were very similar where you can people can work together and stuff like that i was i was all in the cutting edge still even now you know i'm all getting all into the snap the ch chat chat gpt and and all that stuff but now i get to really 
as soon as I'm done with this other artwork, I get to um, really follow that stuff that um, interests me and, and take it to the next level. And I'm not worrying about teaching it because I can don't have to. I can just explore it and work on it. And, and uh, so yeah, the VR stuff, animation stuff, that stuff that interests me. And then we can take it to that level. We can take it to that level on Tuesdays. There's other people that want to do stuff like that. All right, I'm getting into the hatching now. I'm pretty uh, got all the drawing done. I'm gonna just put in the hatching and just put it where it kind of goes. There's a little bit of a curve to to, to these lines. I'm not really doing it, um, you know, perfect, perfect. Just getting the feel of it in there kind of looking and then undoing, looking and doing, looking and just, so my pencil already has a thickness to it. I mean, I've worn it down. I just lost that. No, it's all good. You'll, you'll wear it down and get, get automatic. Yeah, you see, like you get that thickness. It's that chisel tip. Yeah. Now I'm just putting it all in all this hatching. You see it, do it. All right, so uh, we're going to do this and then we're going to do, um, I guess, a Zentangle, call it a night. Thank you for joining us another night. I don't know if I can handle these two nights a week. So I don't know. It did say tentative. So we'll see. We'll be, we'll be definitely, I got to cut these shorter. I don't know. Once I'm drawing and what's, <laughs> but then I have to, I have to, I have to edit all these videos and all that other stuff. That's, I need to hire somebody. If I was a rich man, that's why, that's why, you know what? That's why we need to start charging. If you, if you have the means and if you're getting really value out of this, you know, you know, a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there. We can hire somebody to put all these videos and help more people. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it to, I'm good. I'm good. Last week, if you had combined all your hours and just had your Thursday class starting at 630, you would have ended up at one in the morning. Wow. <laughs> a lot of hours. A lot of hours, 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 hours. That's what it takes. But uh, yeah, we definitely need to um, focus it a little bit more. One of my art teachers said that you need to draw three hours every day in order to get better. Yeah, it's definitely uh, consistency. Three hours is, is uh, yeah. Some, some people say more, some but whatever. I mean, it really depends. And you know what? And it and you got to know what you're focusing on too. What are you working on? What is it you're you're focusing on? Um, because you can also just uh, practice and in going in circles. If you you know if you, if you have a focus, if it's ratios, angles, shading, values, and that's where the course really is going to come in. The course is really going to come in. Because you know when you when you have a focus, you, you know what you're focusing on to improve your drawing. And, okay, I'm just going to focus on ratios. That's it. Forget the proportions. Forget everything else. I'm really, just going to focus on ratios. Okay, I'm going to focus on angles, and then it just comes together. It really does. It really just all comes together. Oh, here's this angle. Here's that angle. And uh, but then you you know you lose proportions. You lose other stuff. But then that's okay because your focus is that. You know what your intention, what you're shooting at. And then you just get better at shooting at that and where it becomes automatic. You don't even think about it. You just do it. You're just doing it. It's like, wow, oh, you don't even like, I don't have to explain, like even talking while I'm drawing, that's huge. I mean, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do that for a while. I had to just totally focus on, on drawing, but then drawing and talking, that's whoa, whole other level. Let's see. Oh, yeah, they're popular tonight. Let's see, what's that? 
Let's see, three new opportunities. Face Painter, Los Angeles. Solana is up. All the bit, all the coins have been going up. And, and the stock market was up as well. Good thing, good thing. Yeah, man, the last year, oh, the whole last year was terrible, terrible in the market. Yeah. It's all good, though. It's all good. It's all good in the head. All right, I think that's it. All right, let's get to let's jump let's jump into that Zentangles, and uh, there's I think a little more detail on hatching and stuff you can probably get on your own. I'm just even just scribbling it in for now. Uh, let's get uh, into the uh, Zentangle zone, the Z zone. All right, Zentangles. All right, let's take a look. Well, let's see which one we're gonna do. It really is just overlapping shapes. That's all it is. Thirteen people, twelve people hanging in there. All right, let's do this real quick because I'm starting to. Oh my gosh, I gotta. Oh man, Presley, one less Presley. All right, here we go. Uh, share my screen and see which one we're gonna do. Which one of these is entangles? We're gonna get tangled up in. Mm -hmm. Jane, stop this crazy. Oh, that's oh, that's cool. I like that. Crazy thing, the hatching, the rocks. Ah, that one's neat. That drawing's neat. That's neat. Should take a vote. Take a vote on the boat. The kid's cute. Bonsai. I like that one. I like that one. Very similar. Yeah, uh, circle, square, triangle. Circle, square, triangle. And a triangle and a circle. That's what's happening. Circle, square, triangle. Take a look right. at number 30. Number 30. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Oval shapes. 29 and 30. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's nice. You kind of got a fish shape in there, and then you got uh, a triangle shape, and then the circles. Yeah, yeah. The first yeah. one you showed, I did this morning. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, with the class. All right, all right. Um, I'll say we'll take a vote. <laughs> no, I don't know. I definitely see. Uh, they're all very similar. It's, it's just the overlapping, and and um, let's let's uh, let's do that one. Uh, I guess. Oops. That's good. As, as requested. Oh. One was Art Deco. Dark Deco. Dark. What's that? One that one seemed like more like Art Deco. Oh, What's Deco. The word I want? Art yeah, Deco. yeah, that style. Right. Yeah. Art Deco. <laughs> Deco. Yeah, Deco. 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 <laughs> Need I come and me wanna go? Okay, I gotta get a big tile now. <laughs> I all think right. you did this on a four by six. Four by six. Uh oh. All right. So I'm going to start off with the biggest shape. I see that shape. We're going to start off with that triangle kind of shape. It's a triangle, rounded triangle, because the edges are rounded. So you see, I got that shape there. Then I got this other shape here. And um, I'm really um, just getting the sh big shapes in there. I'm not worrying about what's in front, what's behind. I really want to see the shapes, the, the behind, the in front. Um, we can do afterwards. So I've got this uh, rounded triangle. The edges are rounded with the triangle. And then we've got this, the fish shape, the fish shape that kind of goes in here. This fish shape right in here. It uh, actually goes, it crosses on the outside. Yeah, it crosses on the outside. So I got to bring that cross on the outside. And then it uh, then it comes out, yeah. Crosses out on the outside. Yeah. This fish shape. Pisces. Fish, fish. I'm trying to get it to flow that line to flow a little bit. It actually curves down more. No, it doesn't matter. What's important is uh, just getting these shapes. It would be easier. It would have been easier just to do the, the circle, square, triangle that they had. Would have been. 
would have been so easier. But, um, you know, you're just putting these shapes together and then just um, thinking about which goes in front, which goes behind, just like we did with the, um, I don't know if we have that recorded. Oh, that was such a good class that um, when we did that. Uh, let's see, I'm losing it. Celtic. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's getting late. And my batteries, it's my batteries. All right, so we got that uh, fish shape. Then we got I think of... the Celtic design is posted. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I think I think so. That was a good video. There's one circle there, another circle here, right in there, another circle in there, and then now you got all kinds of scribbles and wobbles and wabbles. I can hear it's, it's like like two, two circles on top of each other. All right, so yeah, that's that's really what it is. I mean, I, I should have just kept it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, student. Keep it simple. All right, so um, these shapes have a thickness. Um, we're going to start with one edge. Uh, there's a lot of weaving. It's just the weaving that goes in and out. So I, I can see, I can see uh, I've got all my, my shapes here. Um, this one here is definitely on the outside. So I can, I can go nice and dark with it there. And 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 um, notice what's what's interesting about that is that it's not that they're they're drawing the lines they're focusing on the line but they're not focusing on the shape as they're drawing the second line they're just they're just going along but they're not really getting that parallel notice how mine is really parallel let me zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about they kind of they kind of lose that um, if you want to go thicker then you go wider and thicker theirs looks a little lumpy it doesn't look solid. This 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 is a lot more solid, which is interesting. You know, it's something to aim for. You don't have to if you well, get they used, it. They they used a different technique. Um, they didn't plan it out the way you just did. It was mm -hmm. um, it wasn't done that um, in that way. It's it's done differently. She did it in a sort of differently. Yeah, but even still, you can still you can still get um, you know the consistency of that 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 shape. I mean, the, this these the uh, you know I'm saying the, the parallel of these lines. See see how I'm getting them parallel. Here I'm getting that shape in there like that. And I went light with it. I went light with it here because there's those other shapes and stuff that are going in and over it. Um. All right, so we got that one. Then we've got um, oh we got the fish let's see let's get this ooh, there, yeah there's a lot of stuff going in and out uh, let's just put this one in here right in here I'm taking this this little part of the inside okay well because I've got this um the fit the outside part of the fish then you've got the inside part right the inside part and that should be pretty parallel it should be pretty parallel right and and you see here where it just crosses over we're really just saying okay this part is in front is in front of um, this shape right and it goes behind so we're gonna losing we're losing this um back part right in there we're losing that and, and see that now that's in front and this is where that you know happens the magic happens because uh it's in that same space but now something's in front, something's behind. We're creating overlapping. We're creating space. Can you push it up a little so we can see? The, we, there you go. Thank you. Right there. So, yeah, let me zoom out. I didn't know it was so close. Yeah. And that's basically what's going on. That's all this uh, all this stuff, um, overlapping, underlapping. But it, the thing is to see the shape and then decide. Um, and I guess you missed that. Uh, here, we'll do this side right here. This, this Everything on this side. Something's in front. Something's behind. Like here, um, we have all, all these shapes together. And now we can start weaving it. And you can decide what's going to be in front, what's going to be behind. Here, this, this circle is actually in front. Right? The circle part is in front. And this is behind. So it, it stops when it hits that circle. This stops when it hits that circle. But it, it would continue. You can see it would continue. But you got to see that solid shape behind. Because you're it's it's persistence of memory. 
it's kind of like a persistence of memory and it's 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 you know it's, a, it's an interesting thing all right so, so then the circle continues from here to uh over here just like that so i'm gonna go from there to over here this is in front this is in front and there to over here So hopefully that helps. I mean, there's a lot here. There's a lot here for me to cover. I mean, to do, but it's basically, that's it. So you're just going, you're just weaving in and out. And I did get rid of another circle that's in there. That's okay. I just you wanted an example. And then there's the shading and then all that other stuff, all those other uh, skills. And you can add like a shadow in here. See, like, there we go. And you can add, um, you know designs and and stuff that you can learn you learn from observing doing the observational drawing you bring it into this abstract drawing with the shapes and and stuff that's going in and out this part of the triangle goes is behind behind and then it goes in front and then this goes in front and it's just weaving it's just as weaving deciding what's in front what's behind like see this is going behind so now i'm going to erase this part in there that's it bam there we go this goes behind and then there's a little bit of a uh, like a shadow and that helps make you get a more sense of depth a little bit of a shadow there And then there's all these other shapes and stuff that I'm not gonna do. I I just I, I guess I, I answered your question. <laughs> how would I do it? That's yes, how thank you. Thanks. Oh, great. That thank helps. You so much. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. See, that's that's what's that's what's happening. That's what's happening. See, that's how I would do it. Oh, you're welcome. See, this is what it's about. You know, I've had these struggles. I've I've done this. And, uh, you know, especially when you're doing all these shapes and, and um, sometimes uh, the problems I've had is uh, where I do these uh, shapes too thick, too thin, these lines. So it's like, wait a minute, you know, how do you how do you weave that? Well, you got to get to the right thickness, got to get to the right shape. Right. And bring this in this much. I mean, it's just and it's all it's, it's really cool. It's all just the. Uh, you're juggling all these shapes and things that are going on in front behind and it's fun this is, this is fun stuff but most of my life i focused on observational drawing i'm drawing what i see and all this abstract stuff i, I was like ah but when i got to drawing uh logos i was like whoa i noticed that uh, how important shape was and how important doing stuff like this is important when you're drawing logos you know getting getting to play with shapes and and um and stuff like this we look for logos and i was like oh, okay give me a new a new appreciation all right i think um i'm gonna call it a night can you just center it so i could take a screen so i could take a photo of it thank you there it is. Just one second. Okay, great. Thank you. All right, you're welcome. Yep, yep. In front, behind. Yeah, because we'll be here all night. <laughs> we'll be here all night. Let's see. Get that, um, yeah, definitely get that uh, fun meet. No, it's a Patreon or something. I don't know. Get something going. At least I'm going to probably turn on the, the um, there's a setting that we've had since the summer where if people want to help pay for, because um, uh, paying for the uh, the meetup and paying for the the Zoom because it's not that one hour Zoom, I, I, I go over, you know, we go over three hours. So yeah, definitely gonna, I'll turn those on. 
So you it. already have something where we can give a donation? There, there is, there is. I ha I've never turned it on though. I've never turned it oh. on. Oh, oh, I see. I've never turned it on. So I'm, I'll, I'll be turning it on. I'll be turning it on in the next, uh, yeah, probably next week. <laughs> next week. We'll see. All right. I'm going to call it a night. There's a lot more shading, a lot more, more stuff. It, it does go darker and some stuff and there's, but my batteries are out. <laughs> I'm going to call it a night. What time is it out in New York? It is 1229. 1229. Yeah, Past midnight. It's already tomorrow. It's already tomorrow. <laughs> That's how it shows up on my uh, on my phone. Oh, it's calendar. already Friday the thirteenth, so you <laughs> know. <laughs> Let's stop recording. The meetup goes. Um, it's a two day meetup on my on my phone. You know, <laughs> on, you know where it sets up the uh, the calendar, uh -huh. so it goes on to the next day. <laughs> Uh, I, you know what? I, I didn't have a close up on on this. I had a close up on the other. I don't know. Did you get that picture? Oh, I'll, I'll, let me take it again. I didn't even know it was a. Uh... Great, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Oh, it wasn't <laughs> that. And that time was upside down. I came out a little differently, Mike. I'll put it on Facebook later. It came out with more dimension in a way, which is not really what you'll see. Okay. So, oh, I'm still recording. Stop recording. Am I recording?